What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sam here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I finally got time in the garage to get some stuff done on this Jeep. Um, been looking at doing a seat delete on my JKU. It's usually just me and Melody wheeling, so I don't need a rear seat. Uh, was looking, finally found a solution for my seat delete. We'll get into that later on, but I like to show you what's going on here. So I already deleted the seat in the back. I got all my tools and my spare tire back here. So once you put a 37 in the back, kind of fills up the back of your Jeep. Um, put it in the back because this stock, I don't have a heavy duty tire carrier or anything on there. It's just a stock one. It's not really meant for that much weight. And the tire was hanging down like past here. So if I'd come off the obstacle, it would come and, you know, try to push up my tire on the back of the Jeep if I came off something steep. So decided, put it in the back. And that thing's super heavy. It was hard to buy yourself to get it up there and put it up on the, uh, the little three studs there. So we're going to do a seat delete. So if you're interested in that, this video is going to be for you. I found a cheaper solution for a seat delete and... What I've seen on them, I haven't even opened it yet. It's over here. What I've seen on them, it's a pretty good solution compared to the other options out there. So we're going to do that. We're going to get organized in here. I'm one of those people that likes to carry as many tools as they can because you know what happens when you're on the trail? The tool you need to fix something is the one you don't have. So I'm kind of over-prepared. I carry fluids and I carry uh, zip ties and all that stuff and as many tools as I can. So hopefully... When putting this seat delete in, and I also got some organization stuff to put in here that will uh, free up some space, make it a little bit tidier, and just have a better package all over room. So let's get into this uh, install here. So I was doing some search on the internet, and I came across, like all people, um, for seat delete, Goose Gear, right? Goose Gear has... I mean, I see, I've seen their stuff on the internet. They are amazing. Really comprehensive kit, but the price just got me. You got to buy the rear part, and then you got to buy the front part, and then you got to buy the other side part. And I think altogether, I just looked it up, it was on $1,700 for a seat delete or their platform system, right? It's an amazing product. It looks great um, and everything, but that's kind of outside of my budget. I don't need the rear part. Also too, on these 07 to I think 10, until they changed up to the rear subwoofer, I have the rear subwoofer in the rear on the JK. So you also have to delete that. I kind of like my rear subwoofer. I don't know if it actually does anything or not, but I like it. So I didn't want to delete that. So this company called Springtail Solutions. Now this is just for the front where your passenger seat goes. This is, just deletes that. It, I mean, you already delete your seat, whatever, but this adds a platform to there and you can actually store stuff in, underneath. So that's what we're gonna be installing today. This comes in at 590 some dollars, 600 bucks, I guess you could say, right about there. I'm gonna tell you this, that I ordered this on Sunday. It is Wednesday now, it came in three days. That's pretty freaking good. So they were just snapping. And free shipping, so there you go. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this box over here and we're gonna unbox this and then we're gonna see what it looks like. I've watched some videos on people um, not installing it, but doing mods to them already. So it doesn't look like that too big of a job, but we'll get into it right here and we'll find out together. All right, we're going to do a little box opening here and see what's in here. Oh, by the way, kind of sounded like I was, you know, fluffing them up or whatever, or um, talking. That this is not sponsored or anything. I paid my own money for this. Just letting y'all know before we get too far into this video. Oh, look at the packing peanuts. Great. Product. 
bracket. It should be like, it's only like four brackets and a lot of packing peanuts. It goes right into your, use your factory bolt holes. So that's pretty good too. So we got hardware and we got some stuff. Stickers, but you gotta love it when they send stickers. Another bracket. And the last bracket. So this should be all the brackets. And at the bottom of this should be the platforms. So there's about to be a mess. a close-up view here see them unboxing but here's here's the actual platform here and the information weather stripping stuff here's your brackets and your cross pieces and whatever else so now I have to get all this stuff out of here so let me get all the stuff out of here and just like that, cleaned it. I even vacuumed it and everything. Opened up all the doors so you can see and opened the lift gate. Uh, letting you all know, if you're like me and you break or bend your uh, gas strut for your uh, lift gate in the back or your glass, couldn't find one locally. You had to order it, all this other crap. Ended up getting some from Amazon, Max Pow brand don't know came with two like 20 bucks for two guess what fits perfectly now i can have uh, now my lift gate doesn't fall down anymore so that's great i'll put that in the link i'll put that in the description below if you need a gas strut for your jeep cheap and they work so it's confirmed i'll put the exact everything in there all you gotta do is click it and you're ready to go so all right, next step is we're going to install this stuff. So I'll get all the tools that I need, let you know what tools you're needing. Uh, kind of skim over the instructions and see what else needs to happen. I don't know if I got to take out my tie or not. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. So we'll see what's next. So good news. They offer, they send you colored instructions with paper. You don't even have to download anything. Tells you all the tools required and everything. So not going to go into a, a very big detail of this because i've already rambled this whole video about other stuff so um we're going to keep it short and sweet and i'm just going to give you the highlights of this install because their instructions are very very detailed i was just going through them so um and they give you all the stuff that you need so um let's uh let's get into it here all right we got a laid out here you need to work a work surface, but I don't have a big enough work surface for this. So we're doing it on the ground here in this living blanket that I just got. So stuff I already got, stuff I bought already coming in handy. Uh, you, ups, you install, uh, you install it. You uh, assemble it upside down. So that's what I'm doing right now. Got it upside down here. This is going to be the bottom. And then I'll flip it over to the top. So you uh, lay it out here like it says in the instructions. And then you grab these uh straps here and you put those along there that um that secures them together and then you bolt them up pretty easy to do that it's not very hard like i said colored pages with easy to understand stuff so we're just gonna get to it and install or and get it put together okay i got <clears throat> okay now we're gonna be moving into the interior here like I said, 
I already got the back seat out. We're gonna have to replace, take these bolts out here for the um, brackets, but we got the platform all bolted up on the ground here. So that's done. Next thing we gotta do is we got to install the brackets. Everything's in, you know pretty easy to understand. So we're gonna do that next. And then that'll be the next thing you see here is me installing the platform. Uh, it says something about, there's a bolt right there that I have to take out or maybe have to replace or leave out. So I might have to move this tire, but we'll see in a second. So let's just go ahead. I need to go ahead and install these brackets. And then uh, it has little uh, risers for them. So we'll do that and then put the, uh, put the platform in. All right, so I've uninstalled the, temporarily installed the brackets there, 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 and there. They come with their own hardware and they also have a, a little polyurethane riser or a 3D printed one here on all of them. It says loosely install them, so that's what I did. Now you, I have to install the platform. I did scoot the tire back because it looks like the platform is gonna be like here-ish because it goes over this bolt. So I did that and got rid of this bolt right here. Um, like it said in the instructions. So now I'm gonna try to get this platform in here and set it into place. All right, so we're done. It was very simple. And, oh, hold on, let me back it up here. Boom, boom. There it is. Flat floor. Um, you just screwed it in with the same screws that's throughout on the brackets. Screwed in these before you cinch down the brackets down here. And use the existing hardware back here on each side. Still have your tie down straps accessible to you. So, awesome. That was a very simple install, very clean install. Very clean. It doesn't have like side things like, you know, whatever, but I'm gonna put stuff underneath here, like these straps and stuff, put underneath there and that'll be good to go. So this is all the stuff that I usually take, sockets, toolbox full of like stuff, um, oils and stuff, other things like that. And you know, if you, that's all you wanted to see, that's the end of this video for that part. But I've moved and I've done some things. So, i am uh, been transitioning my tools to Milwaukee lately, and if you haven't seen them, they got the stuff called the pack out stuff. So I went and finally bought me some of these. I've been eyeing them for a while. Bought me some pack out. So we're gonna use the pack out system here because it's got it's got all kinds of stuff you can add and whatever to it. And we're gonna put the pack out right here, put all my tools in it, and that way we'll open up a bunch of space for coolers and all that other stuff so first i'm gonna get all the recovery gear probably in this side over here with my shackles and stuff we'll roll them up nice under the floor and then uh we'll put the pack out in here and transfer all the tools over to that all right so this is what it's gonna look like i'm gonna have an empty spot here for a cooler or whatever got all my straps and stuff and jumper cables and like long pry bars that I have or, or um, a breaker bar that I always have with me. Got them underneath here. And then yeah, everything's cleaned up. Um, I don't have anything in the big box right now because I'm kind of, all my stuff's like, like I got sockets in a, um, ammo can over there. I want to get a bag for them so I can put them in this bag in here and have stuff like in a bag, my wrenches in a bag, and they have like these tool bags that you can get that are like roll-ups. So I'm going to get, I'm going to go online and pick some of those up, put them in that big box, and then I'll be able to tie, tie them down right here. So I won't go nowhere, but I got all my like uh, stuff like, um, I got U-joints in there, tire repair kit, electrical stuff, um, just random stuff that I had in that other box. I have them in here. So this is subject to change, but as of now, I mean, it's a solid and it, these locked together, you have to 
use that to unlock them, but it's really nice. So, like I said, I can use this to anchor that to that. And yeah, so that's that. So now that's gonna be the end for this one. I'll get some bags offline and we'll, I'll actually go in and, you know, I need to, I got uh, duplicates of stuff right now that I don't need. So we're going to go and thin out the herd a bit and uh, just get what we really need instead of carrying all this extra stuff. So, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. A lot better looking I had, and I'm going to get different straps. I just have these straps right now. I want to get some kinetic recovery gear and some soft shackles and stuff but for now that's what we got so that's what we'll use so um it's gonna be the end for this one if you got any questions drop them in the comments down below and like i said uh i'll uh, i'll link springtail solutions website in the description if you're interested um no affiliation with them or anything but you know it's a good product i like it so you know i want to help guys out there looking for a solution like this so uh for the money can't beat it so we will see you in the next one guys thanks for watching and come on back for the next one i don't know what it's gonna be might be a ride but um who knows so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one